Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm right in my hands. is Cat's Cradle, the Golden Twine, the start of a new graphic novel series by Joe Rui. Uh, it's a it's a fairly interesting uh, debut. It's a really cute concept and a cute world, and and a series I want to know. Uh, I want to read more of. Uh, it's an interesting debut, though. Like I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sold, but I did really enjoy it. So the story is about this girl named Suri who is um, found by kind of a, a group of, of traveling wagons. I, I, they, <coughs> I'm not quite 100% sure what we'd call them, but it's like a traveling group of people. It's not, it's not a circus. It's not a, 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 you know, entertainment or anything like that. It's just like this, this group. It's kind, of, it's kind of interesting like that. So the, um, so Suri wants to be a monster hunter, and this is a world where monsters do exist. Um, there is this group called, uh, Catfish, I believe they, there is the name, um, that is kind of like terrorizing the, the local area, uh, and then there's also this really giant monster in a wagon, uh, in the area that she lives. Uh, the thing is, is that, you know, the, the monster hunters clearly don't want her to do, uh, to go into that, uh, business. The others around her don't want to. Uh, the man that is in charge of the, kind of like, the wagon group, the caravan group, um, he doesn't like her, and everyone else is trying to find her a job so that she can stay. Um, she's, she's a girl with big ambitions and, and dreams. Uh, and a, clearly a mystery about where she came from. She's also clearly talented. Uh, she knows her monsters. She knows uh, her stuff. While the monster hunter, actual monster hunters that we uh, meet eventually are, are, you know, kind of common is the best way of a uh, nice way of putting it. Uh, but she she knows her stuff. She uh, she demonstrates it multiple times that she actually has talents. And this is a, a business she probably should go into. Um, but from there, it's an introduction. Um, it's a kind of a, a gathering of her and her uh, companions as she is separated from uh, the caravan and they take off without her and she needs to make a quest to go find them. Um, and that's where it kind of ends. It's really, uh, it's, it's an interesting graphic novel in that it is an introduction to this world. It's an introduction to the conflict that she's going to deal with. Um, that is, uh, but overall, like, there's, you know, there's a lot of moments, there's a lot of moments of action, excitement, and, and aw shucks, and cute stuff, uh, but, you know, I, I, I'm not quite sure I'd call it, like, a complete narrative or a complete, complete story. It, it, it feels like a chapter. It feels like a chapter in a bigger story, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, knowing that there's more along the way, um, but at the same time, you know, that it kind of... You know, it makes me a little hesitant because I, I don't feel completely satisfied. It, um, the, the overall story is interesting and it's cute and I, I actually love so much about it. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like there's any like narrative within that feels satisfied. And everything is felt, feels very open and just a series of moments that are tied together that eventually lead, will lead us to our bigger, uh, to the bigger adventure. Um... The uh, things I really like about it, there's something very uh, animated about it. it. It feels like very much an animated film in the flow of everything. The flow of the action, the flow of the story, the characters, everything. Um, that's not a bad thing. I actually really, really like that as far as the the, um, the style of the art, the, the storytelling itself, the pacing, everything. It flows so well, and it looks great. I love the book, uh, the look of this graphic novel, and um, how everything kind of comes across, and it's just it's solid, solid stuff. Um, you know, when it, when things get going and the action starts kind of flowing, it's it's good. Like there's, as I said, there's like this, there's a flow about it, and I, it's kind of hard to describe and and really really go through without showing or reading it. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to spoil anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's so, like you can you can see this quickly becoming 
an animated film. Like you can, it, there's just something about it that this is a, a story, a graphic novel series that, like, if I had the power, I would snatch it up in two seconds and start working on the animated film for it. Um, it's lovely. It's cute. It's 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 so much that's great about it. I just want the next volume is, is really comes down to it. Like, it doesn't quite have that satisfying um, complete arc for me that I, I can wait. Like, I, I, I really want that next volume soon uh, because of that. But overall, like, I, I enjoy it. This is, it's a, it's a fun start of a series, and I think there's, a, there's a, so much potential to this. Like, I'm excited to see what that next volume is. Uh, this is out now in shops, so you can go get it. We've got a link beneath this video. Open your zip code. It'll tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. It helps support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, I want to take first second for a us up with the review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into graphic novels and if you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.